doing job, coral reef. Yeah, this is where there's a lot of life underwater. There's lots of rocks and coral and fish. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. Marker. <laughs> and some paper. And some color with. Something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're first gonna draw the rocks for a coral reef. We're gonna start down here and we're gonna draw a bumpy line and actually turn it into an upside down U shape. And it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. You can make your rock taller or wider. You could add more bumps or even less bumps. Now let's connect the bottom and draw another wiggly line. Let's also draw, maybe it, there's a little rock behind this one. So we can draw a little one coming out. We're using overlapping. So we're only drawing part of it because it's behind the bigger rock. Okay, let's draw another big rock over here. Maybe, uh, let's see, this one could be maybe a little lower like this. And then we'll draw the same kind of thing coming down like that, a U shape. We could even draw a smaller one in front of this one. Let's draw it a little lower also. I'm gonna draw another bumpy line like this. It's smaller in front and it's lower. So the side lines right here, the side of the rock is lower than this one. You see that? So we could draw it a little lower on both sides. There you go. Now let's connect this one, the bottom. And then we're gonna connect the bottom of the bigger rock that's behind it so we're only gonna draw it connecting to the rock. We're gonna imagine that going behind and then coming over here and connecting to the other side. Yeah. Now let's add an even bigger rock behind the whole thing. We're gonna start over here and this one I'm gonna draw a big bumpy line that comes up and maybe we'll stop there. Start here, yeah, bump. And then let's come down like that and we can add another one over here coming out. And then uh, what should we do? Should we, let's just go all the way down like this and come down to about the same length that we came down over here on this side. So that can come down to match. Now let's connect into the rock that's in front and let's also connect in over here. Now we're gonna imagine these lines going behind the two rocks and come out like this and then connect to this one. We got all these cool rocks now, but we're missing something. The coral. Yeah, the coral that makes it a coral reef. And also all of the other alive stuff that lives in a coral reef. Yeah. Okay, let's first draw some seaweed. We'll start over here and let's draw a wiggly line that comes up like that. Got a lot of wiggly lines. Then at the top, we're gonna draw another wiggly line, but watch this, we're gonna match the first one we drew. Perfect. Then we're gonna draw another one, but this one's gonna to overlap too. Let's draw a little curve for the top of our seaweed. This one's gonna be shorter. And then we're gonna continue it down. And some of these wiggles could be different if you want. Let's add another one on the other side, but let's make it even shorter. We'll draw the top and then draw the wigglies coming down. Let's add more seaweed over here on the right side. We're gonna repeat the same steps. I'm gonna draw a wiggly line going up. Or you could draw it going down too, that works. Then let's draw the top of our seaweed and then draw a wiggle line that matches. Well, mine's a little different, that's okay. Now let's draw one on the left side. I'm just gonna draw all the way down and maybe another one over here on the right side. Ooh, this one's gonna be really long, come down even further. Now it's starting to look like a coral reef. Next, let's add some coral. We're gonna draw two lines coming up out of the rock. Then we're gonna draw a wiggly line coming out on the left and also over here on the right. Coral is really fun to draw because it, you wanna make it look natural, so it's okay if it looks a lot different than mine. Now we're gonna draw a little curve at the end like that and come back. And we could do the same thing over here on the right side. Let's draw another little wiggly or a little U shape that comes out. I'm gonna draw a couple on the right side. Now we're gonna come back down and almost like we're gonna connect 
It looks like arms coming out of a person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to draw the center part coming up further. So I'm going to draw two curves going the other direction. No, it doesn't. Now, yeah. Well, that could be the neck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now let's add more branches of our coral coming off. Now watch me. I'm just going to add little wiggles that come out like this and then back in. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to go fast because yours doesn't have to look like mine. It can look completely different. Then I'm going to draw in between these. I'm going to draw two little bumps to connect. There we go. We drew our coral. Oh, look, it's different. I like it. Go ahead and just do whatever you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, just like that. That's that's awesome. I really like that, Austin. Now, it's okay that our two drawings are different, especially yeah. because this is the ocean and everything looks different. Because the most important thing is... Typhoon! And to... Practice. Practice. All right. Let's keep drawing. Let's add more coral. Let's add another one right here. I'm gonna, you can watch me first. I'm gonna draw just a couple little things like this. What? You could just draw wiggles, all kinds of shapes. Look at that. I wanna see how you do it. Now you guys at home, I drew that really fast. You can pause the video right now and take time to add your own coral. Look at that, you did it. Now let's fast forward even more and let's add more of these shapes in different places on our drawing. Now we have a bunch of coral. We also added more seaweed, but we need to add sea anemone. An anemones. Anemones, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of a tricky word to say. Yeah. All right, let's add those. We're going to draw two wiggle lines. Let's add a big one right here. I'm going to add a wiggle like that and a one that matches, but look, there's a lot of space in between. Now we're going to draw a wiggle up here. I went out like this, and then I'm going to draw another wiggle that comes across to the other side. See how it's got little U shapes on the side? Yeah. Do you know what a sea anemone is? No. So it kind of looks like a plant, but I think it's more considered uh, like an animal. And they actually eat things like crabs. <laughs> That's gross. Yeah. They're predators. Okay, now let's draw the little cool tentacles coming out. I'm going to draw a bunch. Watch this. I'm going to draw little U shapes that come out and back in. So upside down U shapes, and I'm going to go all the way across to the other side. This is kind of gross looking, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm going to draw another one. Let's use even more overlapping. This one I'm going to draw smaller. I'm going to draw it next to the first one we drew. And I'm only drawing one because the other side is behind this one. Yeah. Then let's draw that little sideways U shape and then a wiggle line that connects to the other side or to the first one. Next, let's add those little tentacles up at the top. We're going to draw upside down U's right next to each other and go all the way across. Maybe this one's behind this coral also. See how my little tentacles go behind? <laughs> and I like that you have more space so you don't have to overlap. Let's fast forward and add even more of these cool creatures. I like all of the cool sea anemones you added. Now, let's add one more type of plant. We're going to add a sponge tube coral plant, which is really cool. We're going to draw a, an oval first. This is for the top. It looks like a tube coming out of the ground. <laughs> we'll draw a squished circle. Then we're going to draw, we're going to draw a bumpy line that comes down. We're going to draw it coming down to the bottom of this rock. Now I left a little space next to the oval. Then we're going to leave that same space over here and draw another little bumpy line all the way down. Now we're going to connect these two lines with a curve that comes around the top that matches the oval. Yeah, look at that. That is weird looking, huh? Yeah. Let's draw another one. Let's draw one over here. I'm going to draw another oval. And I'm going to go a little faster because I'm just repeating the same steps. I'm going to draw two bumpy lines, come around, and then connect the top. Let's do more overlapping. I'm going to draw another one that's higher, like this. Maybe it's even bigger. 
and then this time the bumpy line is just going to be really short and connect to the top yours could come down yeah right there it's a little longer and then we could do the same on the right side and connect the top see how that one looks like it's behind the other two yeah let's draw another one over here and maybe this one is going more diagonal and then connect the top. Now you guys at home could add even more of these cool little tubes all over your drawing. I did a little curve down at the bottom to make it look more 3D, but you can leave that off. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing our coral reef. It looks really cool, except it's gonna look even better once it's- Colored. Yeah, colored because Coral reefs are beautiful. They have all kinds of cool colors. Now at the end, you guys can pause the video to match your same coloring, or you could color your drawings any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. So we did it. That was a lot of coloring. Was that fun? Yeah. I hope our art friends are going to take time to color their drawings also. Now we added other creatures to our coral reef too. Yeah. Like tropical fish. What's this thing? Eel. An eel and... Starfish. Yeah, starfish down at the bottom. We also added a giant clam back in that little area. It kind of looks like you could swim back there and see if there's a pearl in the clam. Mm, yeah. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing the coral reef. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we also hope that you take time to add even more creatures. You could ask your parents for help to find out what lives in a coral reef, and then even use the pictures as inspiration to draw more creatures. Like snakes. Oh yeah, sea snake. Mm -hmm. That would be way cool. We also use markers to color our drawings, but you can use whatever you have at home. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also, be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.